where are we going? We're going back to the palace. So let me see and make sure that I'm actually on the right quest. Uh, it seems like we are. Uh, Palace of the Meridian, active. Yep, alright. So, looks like we are going to the right place. Uh, just so you guys know, uh, between this video and the last video, I did a tiny bit of grinding. And I guess I should show you. On my inventory, I ended up doing this quest. I had to look this up because I could not find an upgrade or a better version of my thing. Of my spear. So, I had to look it up and see where I could potentially get an upgrade since my spear was green. And... It was, it was uncommon and it wasn't doing as much damage as I wanted to. So I looked it up and I found that the only way you could get an upgrade is by doing this quest at the beginning of the game, which I went and did. Uh, and I did a little bit of grinding to, uh, to the point where I found, or I was able to get this. And now I have unlimited fast travel. And I gotta say that definitely comes in handy. I'm glad that I did that, but I didn't do much other than that. Just some light, you know, grinding, and that's about it. Uh, nothing spectacular that happened other than that. Uh, but yeah, so let's go to the Palace of the Sun and talk to the homeboy. I, I freaking love this game, guys. It's been almost... I think a little bit over a week that I touched this game because there was a lot of other things that I had going on or whatever as far as games goes and this unfortunately got pushed a little bit back and I every day claim to let everyone know hold on if there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements you need but ask there'll be time for all of that later Aloy hi oh does it talk uh, I, I'm kind of tempted to hear this, though, real quick. Is it just... Do I have to go to the other side? Hold on. I'm over here just jumping over his stuff like it's nothing. Alright, a book. Okay, whatever. Oh, that... Okay. Alright, well, let's talk to him and see what he needs. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Errand, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy. Hey, that does make sense, though. Please. When we spoke... Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But he now wants that information left to my imagination. Those details are all I can think about. Is it really our place? You were there. Did she suffer? Uh, she thought of you. I can't remember what she said. Uh I'm going to go with are is that what you're really asking? She's not the one who's suffering now. You are. She died before you could say goodbye. Is it that obvious? Yep. You're right. I'm dwelling on my pain, not just hers. 
And there's only one thing left that can help. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. I really hope so, because I think... I think bringing him alive and having him go through some trial process or some sort of a judgment... I'm not entirely sure what their system is, but having some sort of a judgment would probably be the better option instead of just flat out murdering the murder. you know what I mean? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. But no, what I was saying before, uh, the entire time that I wasn't playing this game, I thought of this game quite a lot. I really am enjoying this game quite thoroughly. Uh, and I'm glad that I'm playing it again. Uh, resources, I don't think there's anything here that I need. Hold on, let me see. Can I just fast travel? Nah, we're already here. There's no point of, even if I could, go to the warehouse. Able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Where am I going? Is this it right here? Yep. This is the place. Oh, he's you armored up. Off. I got a surprise for you. It looks abandoned. It's boarded up and everything. Is that a bomb? Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? It's a bomb, all right. Doesn't look too well crafted. big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. That kind of reminds me of Game of Thrones, actually. Where, uh, what is it called? Like, Dragon's Breath or something? Hold on. I want to see what's up here. There's more bomb. Okay, so that that's all that's there is. A lot of if that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's got to be a way to stop it. Let me see. Examine Blaze. Blaze. It must be leaking from something upstairs. Yeah, that was that was the second set. So that's this. I want to be careful because this is kind of scary. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. If we okay, can get let me see. Somehow, the blast will be much smaller. So there's got to be a way to get rid of it. Well, it's telling me to go back down. Wait, hold on. What am I supposed to do? I'm so confused right now. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. I was over here on top of it. All right, so examine the bomb. Search the warehouse. Where? is the booby trap it's clearly upstairs though if i follow the map marker hmm maybe there's some way i can open this window to get rid of the fuel for the bomb found it, it looks like a wooden bracket not very strong okay oh snap aloy man you better not blow up girl help me push this out Okay. Brute <laughs> force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Oh, hell nah. Oh, snap. We did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This is the over. Durval said he'd make a Vod watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. And that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. He's finished. He's a pretty chunky guy for being the commander 
of the guard, basically. Investigate the area. Huh. Well, whatever it is I'm looking for. Oh, tracks right there. Just a bit of blaze in them. Oh, he is mine. There's guards everywhere. Okay, he went back down, or he went down here. What happened? I haven't heard a blast like that since the liberation. I have a matter of grace and beauty Hold I'd like to discuss up. with you. That's what I say. Oh man, he went in here. I have to. I have to go in here. The tracks lead inside. Oh snap! Another one of Durval's hideouts. Wait a minute. So he went this way, but it disappears right here. Maybe... Oh, downstairs. That was weird how it just kind of went into the wall. And then disappeared. I don't know. This must be where Durval assembled the detonator. <sighs> he tunneled through the wall. Durval did find a way into the palace. You don't say. Uh oh. Is that him? I'm pretty sure he saw her. Oh, we got uncharted. But where are we going now? Oh, we're going down. And now we're going left. I'm kind of just going with the flow here. Because to be 100% honest, I'm not entirely sure where we're going either. <laughs> oh, snap. That scared me. Let's go. Climb faster, Aloy. And zip. Oh, man. Well, that didn't work. Who? Me? No. Let's go. Let's go ahead and uh take their shards. Oh man, my potions is full. Where'd he go? He is mine. I'm definitely going to try to bring him in. If I have an option, I'm not going to kill him. Well, at least right now. Look at you, Avad. Oh my God! The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian, Avad. Breathe in the stench. Oh, snap. On the ashes. Something's wrong. It didn't. I, I didn't hear anything. There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No, it should be a firestorm, not some belch from a charcoal burner. <laughs> We foiled this plot. All right, we gotta shut it down, like ASAP. No, come on, destroy. There we go. Might as well while I'm here, right? Too much already. Where's the king? Can I not talk to him? You would think I would be able to talk to him, but I guess I gotta go defeat. Uh. What's this? Durval. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Oh, snap. Oh, man, we got a heavy gunner. We're gonna have to. Battle is upon us! Ow! <laughs> Can we finish this? No, come on. All right, this might be a little, a little difficult. Come on, baby, let's go. Ah! Uh, oh God! 
No! Oh, crap. I was pushing the wrong button. I just didn't react fast enough. That was 100% my fault. And I am not proud of that whatsoever. This time he's mine. He's pretty tough though, man. Alright, where, where are we? Okay. What? Let's just skip me. Ow! Why does a bot? Oh my God! Do the fighting. Come on! No! Kill kestrels and ravagers. This guy is nothing. Is a pain. Oh. I'm trying to think how I might be able to defeat him because he is pretty powerful strength wise I think I just have to go for it man what's this oh help me brothers go away Let's go. Oh god, that did not work. Let's go. See, he is really, really strong. I think I have to destroy that archer, man. I think I have to kill the archer first. This dude is strong. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for the archer first. Also, I'm going to go for... Some stronger. She's here. Let's go. Go. Why does a bot always have his lazy No, get out of here. Oh, oh come on. Can we finish this? I've got a son. Oh. Uh, yes. At least I hit him once. Get out of here! Come on! Ah! I've led an army. Get out of here, dude! Savage is nothing. Come on! All right, we're. Got him! Oh, that was good. Not over yet. Any good Osiram Tenko will tell you. Always have a third plan. Oh, snap. Is that calling in the... Oh my god, it is. Oh, snap. Okay. Oh snap! Ah, those majestic, murderous Blinkhawks! Come on! What is their weakness? Fire! Come here, buddy! I hope you like fighting these things! Because there's more in the Where's way! Where's he at? Ah! Oh. Alright. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. This is actually pretty intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. Are they down? No, get out of my way. Ah, Got one of them. Let's go. Oh, come on. Critical hot a hit. That is not a critical hit. I think I missed my opportunity. Get out of here. Would you stick Bill? I am not a very good archer. Not at all, actually. Ow. 
Hit him! That should be enough, right? Got him. So what, we got what? One more? I hope you like fighting these things. Where are they? Because there's more in the way. Well, that's nice. Let's go. Go ahead and land, please. Come on, critical. There we go. That should be more than enough to off this guy. Oh, God. Ah! Got him! Land! Let's go! Critical! That is not what I wanted! I gotta get back. Oh! I hope that was enough. Well, yes, it was. All right. I'm literally using up all of my heals, though. Oh, he's right there. Let's go. Is he gonna land? Really? Crap, the one that I wanted did not land. I think he's about to land. Run! Crap! Oh god, I didn't realize I was almost dead. I think that might be enough, actually. Yeah, that guy over there is dead. Alright, where's homeboy right here? I think he's the last one. Come on. Run! Dead! Oh, God. That was intense. Not even gonna lie. Let me go ahead... I want one of those at least uh, where's my resources I don't need that many sticks so let's like, at least get one of the uh, one of the things that they drop just cuz you never know if we're gonna need those for something, you know? For like a special item later. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Space. That should be everything? Ah, Durval. Uh, yeah, Durval. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Aaron, you'll screw it up. Oh, snap. He just walked right through that body. <laughs> I know what you are afraid of. Going back to mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. There you go, buddy. They know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. <laughs> nice. That actually made me smile. Good for you, or uh Aaron. Look at him getting carried out, all knocked out. Rolling through bodies and everything. Sick. 
Why do I have three different checkpoints? Uh, talk to... Okay, I got three different people to talk to. Uh... Hello. Aloy. To say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth, without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Uh... What about... Hold on, yeah, consider staying? Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. <laughs> well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You're strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. Uh... Uh, I think I need to go my own way. I don't like the, like, you used Ursa. I don't think he really used her, like, like that. You know what I mean? And I'm not a substitute. I think these are just excuses to try to make her look or feel like a strong, independent woman, even though she already is, you know? Uh, I think these are... Kind of useless, to be honest, in my opinion. I, I think she, to be strong, I think she needs to be... Her, like, she needs to go on her own. Thank you for the offer, but... I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for. And it's gonna take me far from Meridian. See, I like that answer. Of course. <clears throat> I, I didn't mean to presume. Or your own woman, just as Ursa was. But there you please, go. See, I like that. I like this. Remember that you're always welcome here. I hope that today is just a sunrise for us, not a goodbye. Uh, what about you and Ursa? We're you and Ursa, you know. I suppose it's obvious how I feel, how I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Asaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Asaram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Dervo. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. Ah, uh, makes sense now. Uh, Durval? What exactly will happen to Durval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sun Ring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his extradition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. Some Asaram devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. Yeah, that's a good point. The Eclipse. I know who attacked the Nora. A faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient machines. Weapons they want to use to strike Meridian. I see. What you're saying echoes whispers I've heard from Marad. A Shadow Karja splinter group. Corrupted machines across the land. When will the attack come, do you know? I'm not sure yet. And we will do what we can to prepare. Keep me informed if you learn more. Yep, will do. I think I'm gonna go talk to Derval first. I don't know which one it is though. Yeah, talk to Derval. So let's, uh, we could actually fast travel yeah, let's... I mean, there's no real... Point of fast traveling. We're not that far. 
Hold on, there's three though. Okay, yeah, we're fast traveling. Uh, cause this one is... Okay, so it's objective two. I forgot that it could do that, so let's go ahead and go this way. Luckily, it's not very difficult to follow. Alright, that's Aaron. We're gonna come back to Aaron in a second. Right now, I wanna go and talk to Durval and see if he's got any special dialogue to say. Because it is optional, and I'm assuming that if I talk to Aaron, it's probably gonna complete this portion of the quest. And I don't want to complete it just yet. I have a Are we here? Grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. Uh, this way. Somewhere. Okay, this is a lot farther than I expected. <laughs> I should have just fast traveled. Oh, okay, there we go. We're here. Ha ha! You look like an idiot. Is that that's it? That that's that's it? I ran all the way over here for him to just be like, oh you came to gloat? Yeah, I did. Alright. I thought that was obvious. <laughs> Let's have a chat. I don't wanna chat. So I guess let's talk to Aaron. Right, we should have just done that from the beginning. Man, I used up all of my healing. I had three full packs, man. Oh well. What you gonna do? She's like gonna be super out of breath now. Hey. Aloy. I was just thinking about Ursa. If you would have killed Durval on the spot, I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. <laughs> yeah, but I don't She's more to mature, do yeah. <laughs> you did with Durval. Don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. You know, when we first met him, I was a little suspicious about him. But I'm glad that we didn't jump to conclusions or anything, because he is a good dude. Uh, so what now? So, after all this, what's next for Erend Vanguardsman? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. <laughs> that does not surprise me at all. I love the way he ended that, that little answer. That was funny. Uh, Durval? <laughs> what do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Hey, you know what? That's acceptable. See you later, man. Well. I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. Now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Aww. Two? Huh. Well, she likes me. Why wouldn't she? That's awesome. Dude, I like... Man, I like him. I'm so glad we were able to bring him a little bit of peace. Alright, so let's see. What's next? Uh, where quests over here? So main quest, the curse of the sun. I think we're level 
We're level tw 22. And this one is level 20. Hmm. Okay. Should, should we do that? I think we should. We still have a lot of side quests that we gotta do though. Some of which are low and some of which are high. And then we have some errands to do. No bandit camps. We still have the hunting grounds. No cauldrons. Do have uh, corrupted zones. Alright, let me just get rid of those. Why does it not go away? I'm not sure. Alright. I think we're gonna do this one and... Uh, yeah. Let me see. Show and map. Oh, crap. It's kind of far, actually. And we haven't even discovered that over there. So I guess the only option is to run. What's called the Curse of Darkness? That sounds pretty ominous. Go to the location of the silence indicated. I wonder what this is about. It seems pretty dark, man. Like, I don't know. It's kind of creepy. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. Very curious to find out what this is about, though. I really can I buy potions from these guys. Um, I don't think I can buy potions, at least not from them. What about this guy? You're looking for or artifacts. girl. Yes, but I'm no profiteer. Sun King Avad has named me an envoy to the Banu. I work on their behalf, looking for sacred relics to return to their homeland, Ben Ur. I'm especially interested in wooden figures that are sometimes found near Banu rock paintings. If you have any, I have valuables to trade for them. Wooden figures? Tell me more about these Banu figures. Simple wood sculptures made by Arnak, a legendary hunter who was exiled from Ban Ur for killing his chief. He left the figures near painted stones in places that reminded him of his homeland. Later, his tribe declared him innocent. Now they see him as a kind of wandering hero and want those figures back. I do what I can to help him get them, including trade for them. If you have any. Okay, uh, trade? You ready? Let's trade. Uh No. All right, more about you. You said the king. Yes. Oops, my bad. I've been to Ban Ur <clears throat> many times, and the Wirek chiefs trust me. I help them maintain diplomatic ties with Avad. Some say they're a mysterious people, but their ways make a lot of sense to me. All you have to do is be the best. Doesn't matter if you're born high or low, man or woman. They respect skill, not some fool notion of heritage. The way it should be. I see the appeal. I wish more Karja did. Anything they don't understand, they call backward or savage. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Come on back if you find any Banuk goods. You there, Outlander? Alrighty. Do you have relics to I'm all about equality, man. Like, all about equality. And fairness and all that stuff, dude. Like... There's no reason why a woman shouldn't be able to do everything a man can do, you know? Uh, alright, so I guess we're taking the elevator. Hiya! Oh yeah, I forgot I have to use the, the button. Except, I remember that this freaking elevator takes forever to get up here. Can I see it? I could hear it coming up though. Man, this this game is gorgeous, man. To think that this is running basically the PS4 version. Cause if I'm not mistaken, I think the I think the game Horizon Zero Dawn is doesn't have a PS5 upgrade. 
which is kind of unfortunate because I wish it kind of did. It probably will get one uh, leading up to uh, Forbidden West. Uh, the release of Forbidden West, it'll probably get a PS5 update. And if that happens, that's going to be freaking awesome, dude. I'm probably going to revisit this on my own. Like, off camera. Once the game's done, obviously, because I'm pretty sure this is going to be pretty amazing to see in, you know, on the PS5 hardware. Because I'm playing this on the PS5. Alright, where's the exit? This way. Excuse me. Oop, what's this? What I need is potions. Is there? All right. Well, there's. I was gonna My save it right there, but alive. and you're going to stand here and do nothing. There's a quick save well, somewhere over here. So beyond the valley, our orders are clear. Freeholds warned. Let's act. Let's activate this quest while we have an opportunity. Actually, that's what the orders are for. Save lives. Good day, citizen. Hey. Tell me what happened to your family. Maybe I can help. You're that Nora who saved the Sun King. You'd help my family? Oh, but it may be too late. By the sun, I fear they are all dead by now. I barely escaped alive. Machines. Vicious machines attacked my family's estate. Father sent me to get help. Uh, what kind of machines? What kind of machines? Where did they come from? A ravager. By the sun, how it cut down those guards. And a pack of watchers came with it. The Sun King warned us that he could no longer protect freeholds beyond the valley, but my father never saw this coming. Damn. Uh, your father's estate? Tell me more about the estate. My father owns a dozen quarries, and he's put his spoils into the estate. Fine tapestries, custom woodwork, silver fixtures. But what about the people there? Of course. Their lives are all that matter. My father and sister, us, a dozen guards and servants. I hope they survived. Me too. I'll definitely go. I'll see what I can do about the estate. You will? Oh, thank you. Oh, please, be careful. Those machines are deadly. Yeah, a ravager. That's, that's big, that's big, that's big deal territory right there.